Hey everyone! Welcome back to another practice session. Today, we're diving into something that so many of us look forward to every morning a coffee routine. Whether you're brewing it at home or grabbing a cup from your favorite cafe, coffee has a way of jump starting the day. I'm Tyler, and with me is Liam. Liam's been trying out different coffee routines lately, so this should be a fun one. As always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Let's get started. So, Liam, what's your usual coffee order these days? I know, you have switched it up a bit. Yeah, I have. Right now, I'm all about a flat white. I like how it's got that perfect balance of strong espresso and smooth milk. It's my go-to in the morning because it's not too heavy but still packs a punch to get me going. I used to be all about cappuccinos but I found the flat white to be just the right middle ground. It kind of sets the tone for a productive day. I totally get that. A flat white's a solid choice. Do you usually make it at home or do you hit up a cafe? I've got a routine for both. When I'm at home, I've got this espresso machine I invested in last year, and it's been a game changer. I'll grind fresh beans, pull the shot, and froth the milk myself. There's something about the process that's almost therapeutic, it's like my own little morning ritual. But when I'm in a rush, I've got a local cafe, just a block away. They make a killer flat white and the vibe there is always so chill. And the best part? The barista Alex knows my order by heart now. That sounds awesome. There's nothing like having a go-to spot where the barista remembers your order. So, how does coffee fit into your larger morning routine? It's pretty much the cornerstone of my mornings. I usually get up, shower, and then the first thing I do is make coffee. It's like my signal to start the day. I'll sip it while I go through emails or catch up on some news. If I'm really in the zone, I'll even have a second cup mid-morning. It definitely boosts my focus and keeps me productive, especially on those busier days. Nice! Do you find that your coffee routine changes on the weekends, or is it the same every day? Oh, weekends are a whole different story. On weekdays, I'm all about quick and efficient. But on the weekend? I take my time. I'll either make a fancier pour-over or head to this cozy cafe across town. It's got this really relaxed vibe, and I can just sit there, sip my coffee, and people watch. It's my little treat after a long week. And honestly, if it's hot out, I'll switch it up with an iced latte or cold brew. How about you? Do you have a weekend routine? Definitely. Weekends for me are all about trying something new. I'll usually go for a specialty drink, like a mocha or a seasonal special. And speaking of seasons, do you ever get into those seasonal coffee trends? Oh, totally. I mean, come fall, who can resist a pumpkin spice latte, right? But I'm also a fan of experimenting with different flavors. Last winter, I tried this gingerbread latte that was surprisingly good. In the summer, though, I'm all about the iced coffee. There's nothing like a cold brew on a hot day to wake you up. Have you ever tried making cold brew at home? Yeah, actually. I have been experimenting with it lately. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it, but you've got to be patient. It takes about 12 to 24 hours to steep, but the result is so smooth. Have you tried any specialty drinks at home? I have. I got into making lattes at home during the pandemic. 
I even bought one of those handheld frothers. It's not as fancy as what you'd get at a cafe, but it does the trick. Sometimes, I'll mix it up with caramel syrup or cinnamon. It's a fun way to spice up my routine without leaving the house. Plus, it makes mornings a little more enjoyable when you have a custom drink ready. Speaking of fun coffee gadgets, have you invested in anything cool for your home setup? Oh, for sure. I've got this bird grinder that I swear by. Freshly ground beans make such a difference. I also picked up an AeroPress recently. It's great for travel. Have you ever taken coffee with you when you're on the road? Absolutely. I always pack some instant coffee if I'm traveling. It's not the same as my usual setup, but it works in a pinch. And I love exploring local coffee spots when I'm in new places. It's almost like you get a taste of the culture. Last year, I found this tiny cafe in Paris with the best espresso I've ever had. What about you? Any memorable coffee experiences while traveling? Funny you ask, I had a similar experience in Italy. The coffee there is next level. I found this cafe in Rome that served espresso with a slice of lemon on the side. It really opened my eyes to different coffee cultures. Now, I always make it a point to visit local cafes when I travel. I love that. Coffee really does bring people together, whether it's a local spot or halfway across the world. And speaking of bringing people together, grabbing coffee with friends or co-workers adds a whole social element. Like those quick chats over a cup before getting back to work. Do you ever do that? Definitely. Especially when I'm at the office. There's this cafe near my workplace where we go during lunch breaks. It's a nice way to take a breather, catch up, and recharge for the afternoon. Coffee has this way of connecting people, don't you think? For sure. Whether it's that quiet morning cup alone or a social outing, it feels like a small but meaningful part of the day. And honestly, it's more than just the caffeine, it's the whole experience. Do you have any other coffee plans coming up? I'm actually planning to try out this new cafe in town next weekend. I've heard they have some amazing specialty drinks, so I'm excited to check it out. What about you? I've been eyeing a new coffee gadget, a Keymex. I've heard it makes really smooth coffee, so I might give it a try. I'll let you know how it goes. Sounds like a plan, Liam. Thanks for sharing all those great coffee stories. I think we've covered a lot of ground here. So, to everyone watching, what's your morning coffee routine like? Let us know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more conversations like this one. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.